It really isn't, hasn't, hasn't settled in yet. Neighbors still in shock this morning. A tornado tore through part of Virginia Beach right around dinner time. Anywhere from 50 to 100 homes damaged by that storm. Good morning, everyone. I'm Ashley Smith at our studio in Norfolk, and Dan Kennedy is live on the ground in Great Neck. And Ashley, I wish it was a better morning for folks out here in Great Neck who have quite a bit of cleanup ahead of them. You saw the pictures from that tornado and the National Weather Service confirms it was indeed a tornado that touched down here last night and they'll be out here a little later this morning to survey some of this damage. Now the city of Virginia Beach as of this morning has declared a state of emergency and several schools around here are closed today because of all the damage we're encountering. That includes Cox High School, which is just a stone's throw away from where I stand right now. Also, Great Neck Middle School and John B. Dye Elementary. Great Neck Road is closed between Cox High School and the bridge at Adam Keeling Road, essentially all the way down to Shore Drive until crews can clear some of the debris. Meanwhile, many families processing what exactly happened here last night. We'll be walking you through all that this morning. Craig, living in Tennessee and Missouri before this, I've covered my fair share of tornadoes, but never been able to stand out here and report that there have been no injuries but that's indeed the case this morning, and we are remarkably fortunate in that regard. Yeah, incredible, Dan, because this was a powerful tornado that went through the Great Neck area. You're looking at homes here, and this is an image that I pulled not from Great Neck, but I wanted to share with you. This is a, uh, a an image that is typical, and this was a confirmed EF2 tornado that did this damage to this well-constructed home. This came from one of our sister stations down in Texas, but I wanted to show you what a confirmed EF2 tornado did to a well-constructed home. And as we are getting more and more images in from Great Neck, you're seeing more examples of homes that have undergone this type of damage. So I think we will likely, once the Weather Service gets out there, takes a look with the sun up, uh, we're going to find this to be a, a very strong EF2 tornado. Maybe if they find some more excessive damage, uh, an EF3, but most likely an EF2, 111 to 135 miles per hour with a tornado of that magnitude. So a powerful system coming through last night, no doubt about it. And the fact that there were no injuries and fatalities, that is just an incredible blessing. We take a look now. The other thing, some good news here as we say so long to those storms, we are dry as we get the day started. Skies are clearing out, and that is so important because there are multiple homes with roof damage, roofs that have been taken off in some cases or opened up, and you certainly don't want additional rain pouring in on, on the contents of those homes. So fortunately, as folks go about cleaning and securing their homes again and start the rebuild process, the weather today is pretty cooperative. It will be a little windy, however. We have winds west of 12 miles per hour. Take a look at the forecast. We're going to see winds gusting at times 25 to even 30 miles per hour, so it will be breezy. Highs today around 68. Let's get a check on the ride with Bethany. Thanks, Craig. Hey, starting with a live look over Shore Drive. This is right near Great Neck Road where Dan has gotten onto, had a police escort so he could get a bit closer, but this is Shore Drive where they're telling everyone this is a no-go for you. Again, Great Neck Road, you heard Dan mention it, completely closed between Cox High School, that's right here, all the way up to Adam Keeling Road, that bridge at Adam Keeling Road. So like he said, essentially up to Shore Drive. Now Shore Drive, obviously your detour, but I am getting reports of some standing water on Shore Drive. This isn't completely closing Shore Drive or closing it at all, but people are seeing some standing water and debris on shore drive. So keep that in mind. I also want to think about these neighborhoods this morning that are going to deal with this cleanup. They're seeing so much going on out there. So my thoughts with you all this morning, but again, that's right where that Great Neck Road currently closed. We're seeing other road closures, obviously, in that area and in that neighborhood of Great Neck. So expect delays wherever you are this morning. As a reminder, it's not just Great Neck that saw issues overnight. Yes, they saw the brunt of that, but we are seeing damage in ocean view. We'll have more on that coming up at six o'clock and then standing water. A major problem this morning. Williamsburg right now seeing standing water on Big Gap Road, Skimina Road, Wilson Drive. Closures exist in that area. Yorktown standing water on Water Street right before US 17. Taking you down to Surrey County here. We have standing water on Hollybush Road, Sexton Road and Route 618. 
closing Holly Bush Road now. Earlier it was just a lane closure, now it's completely closed. And for my Southampton residents, Story Station Road, Route 611, Bishop Coaston Road, and Route 680 currently seeing closures and delays. No full closures here, but definitely single lane closures with standing water. A lot to go over, Ashley, this morning. Yeah, lots of roads affected by the aftermath of this storm. Bethany, thanks. And we are continuing to track the damage across Virginia Beach from that tornado last night. So take a look at this video sent in by Jen Topple. Now you can see a stunning view of the funnel cloud outside their window. And that led to destruction much like this sent in by Pam Smith in Lynn Haven. Entire trees ripped from the earth and onto homes and cars. Some of those trees completely shredded by the winds. Let's turn back now to Dan Kennedy live in Great Neck this morning. Dan, we can see certainly the flashing lights behind you. What's the situation like out for you right now? Yeah, I can tell you just about every entrance you could imagine between the location where I stand here in front of Cox High School all the way down to uh, around Shore Drive is blocked off with uh, police. You see this is Virginia State Police and Virginia Beach Police Department working to secure these entrances. They want to make sure nobody's getting through here uh, where there was gas leaks last night where there are a number of downed trees and tons of damage, tons of damage to homes. We are hearing between 50 and 100 homes damaged by this storm last night. And check out this video of the storm forming. This is from Ernie Sawyer in Marina Shores, and you can see the rotation in the clouds that caused all the damage. Uh, the city opened an impact center at the Great Neck Rec Center on Shorehaven Drive. That is exclusively for people impacted by this storm. We've learned that Mayor Bobby Dyer and Councilman Chris Taylor will be out here later today to look at that damage for themselves. The councilman says there are community efforts in the works to help people who have lost their homes or belongings. In the meantime, if you see any damage that needs to be addressed or if you have questions for the city, you can call the 311 line to report things. It also appears as if uh, some more first responders are arriving right now. Their staging area is set up at Cox High School because as I bring in Casey Baylor right now, we are talking about a number of our neighbors impacted by this. Several neighbors here, Broadway Point Greens, uh, Haversham Close, Upper Chelsea reach a lot of residents impacted by that overnight storm. And some residents even tell 13 News now they watched it form last night and also followed the path of the, uh, the direction of that uh, storm, I should say. Now, Philip McGowan was one of them. He says this weather caught him off guard last night. He said it lasted for just a few minutes with winds hurling and heavy rain. But when he walked outside, he says he saw dozens of homes either damaged or destroyed. Seeing trees down wasn't too, too rare, but when you just start seeing mattresses in the middle of yards and you start seeing cars flipped over and I mean, this is stuff in the roofs of house houses uh, just completely ripped off. And McGowan says his home is slightly damaged, but despite the, the, the destruction, I should say, we've been talking about this all morning. No one is hurt. He took some incredible photos and we we're so appreciative of that. Casey, thank you providing some of those uh, firsthand reports last night. Many eyewitnesses we had heard from and we will have more coverage coming up after this short break.